Now, from the Desert's News Leader, KESQ News Channel 3 HD, live at 5. Hello, I'm Tamara DeMonte. And I'm John White. We're learning more tonight about a triple murder here in the desert nearly 30 years ago. One man is already facing charges. Now police and prosecutors are also pointing a finger at a local business owner. News Channel 3 has been closely following this case for more than a year now. Tonight we are uncovering exclusive new information. News Channel 3's Nathan Baca has the latest on his investigation tonight. Nathan. Tamara, John, these papers right here outline the charges against Jimmy Hughes. We first reported his arrest for a 1981 Ranch Marsh triple murder on Saturday. Now this case is widening to include more people, including the owner of one of the Valley's largest martial arts clubs. Glenn Hegstad is a well-respected local businessman. He owns Coachella Valley Judo and Jiu-Jitsu. Now the state attorney general's office accuses Hegstad of conspiring to murder Cabazon Indian Vice Chairman Fred Alvarez. He died at this Rancho Mirage home on July 1st, 1981. His friend Ralph Boger and Alvarez's girlfriend Patty Castro also died. The state attorney general's office says former Cabazon Indian security chief Jimmy Hughes offered to hire Hegstad to murder Alvarez. Fred Alvarez was going to blow the whistle on illegal weapons manufacturing deals signed off by Cabazon tribal leadership. But it was Jimmy Hughes, arrested Saturday in Miami, who actually pulled the trigger, according to detectives. Investigators believe Hegstad knew about the murder plot but did nothing to stop it. His business is inside Gold's Gym on Country Club Drive in Palm Desert. Gold's Gym management refused to comment on camera. They explain Hegstad's business is inside their facility, but independently managed. I talked to Hegstad on the phone Monday night before he was accused in court of murder conspiracy. He claims that he cooperated with detectives and had nothing to do with the plot to kill three people. The National Geographic Channel aired a segment last year on his 2001 escape from Columbia. Rebels took Hegstad hostage and tortured him during a cross-continent motorcycle ride. Hegstad claims to be a former Hells Angel. Though he's accused of murder conspiracy, Glenn Hegstad is not under arrest for any crime at this time. Well, Glenn Hegstad has not returned my calls for a comment just yet today. Now, as explosive as these documents are, there's another uh, pair of documents, the affidavit for the warrant arrest uh, that is currently sealed, kept secret at a Riverside courthouse. You talked about this the other day when uh, after the arrest of uh, Jimmy Hughes, that the other people involved. So now we're, we're continuing to find out more. Exactly. Okay, thank you, Nathan. Thanks.